Zitia Buoni by Monaskin. This is the song that Monaskin won Eurovision with and it's launched them to being one of the biggest bands in the world in 2021, which is amazing because they're a proper rock and roll band. I love these guys. I've been listening to all their back catalogue on Spotify, as have a lot of other people because they're doing very well. I can't wait to see them live and we're going to learn all parts of this amazing song. To answer the question, first of all, every bit of muting, which sounds like this and appears on tab as a little X, is all done with the fretting hand. So anytime you hear this sound, or you see that X, it's relaxing the fingertips on the strings that we're actually picking. So a great thing that I want you to be able to do, first of all, is be able to play the open thickest string, then again, then play the octave, so that's down, down, up. And then we're just going to go down, up, down, up. And we're going to do that down, up, down, up, primarily on string five, muting with the third finger. That will give you the technique to be able to do everything in this song, really, but particularly to get the feel of this riff. Down, down, up and then down, up, down, up, all just on string five. But what we do is we have the thumb also covering string six and all the other fingers here just laying over the other strings. So it can be, I mean, when you've seen these guys winning Eurovision, they're absolutely giving it all on stage. And this left hand muting is one way that we can give that huge performance, but still make sure what we're playing is actually pretty clean. The actual riff, is exactly the same as that, just adding five to seven on string five. I'd, I'd be doing it absolute as a hammer on. It's not tapped as a hammer on where I've seen it, but get it as a hammer on. That cycles three times. The fourth time we do this. This first finger note here is sometimes not played as strongly as that. Sometimes it's slightly muted and almost an implied note. Kind of like that. Just like that. Then we get to the chorus. Just like this, it's the open, uh, thickest string, string six. So all on string six, down, down, up, down, and then an up pick with the third and little finger at 12th fret on string two and string three, muting string four and five with the first finger, because we're probably going to hit them. We just pull them down a little bit. So when we hit it first of all, it's just flat and then we just drag it down. If I had a tube screamer to this, woo, harmonics baby. Sounds awesome and it's a G power chord to an A power chord. Third fret power chord to a fifth fret power chord. After that first chorus, we go back to the main riff, but we do have a slight variation. That part. So we have the main riff. Five, eight, seven, five, seven, three.
quick note on getting the tone, I'm just going straight into the Victory Sheriff with pretty much everything at 12 o'clock and uh, using the two notes Captor X to really capture, you know, those valves cranked right up to this this one's cranked to two o'clock, so that would be deafeningly loud uh, in here if I wasn't using the Captor X. The breakdown section, this is an E minor triad, starting at the 7th fret, 8th fret and 9th fret. general notes or the general pattern is that and then it's simplified most of the time so the first time is that which is 10 8 7 7 8 7 uh, to 9 with the move being pick hammer Flick, hammer. And then every other time it's just generally, though it goes back and forth a little bit as the song kind of builds from there, but the final one, do the last hammer on with your middle finger to get us to the next triad shape, which is this little D minor shape. Uh, but it's actually A minor triad. Back to the chorus again. And then we get to this big ending, which played slowly is this. That's my interpretation of what he is playing. It's all based around starting off with a down up up. And the actual notes up here 12th fret, 11, 12, 11, 9, 11, 9, 7, 9. Second half of that section. That was 12, 11, 12, 14, 12, 14, a bend up at 15. Barry Hendrix. And then just ending. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. E power chord twice. Zeta Buoni by Monoskin. Uh, play along to the original recording as soon as you can get anywhere near that because this kind of song is so enjoyable when you're actually joining in playing this riff with an awesome band. More Monoskin on my channel right now and I hope to see you guys in the next video.